now we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by editor of Beauty EQ, Trudy Brewer, who is here to share all of the secrets behind choosing the right foundation and how to use it to pinpoint, well, to get rid of the imperfection, should I say. Welcome, Trudy. Hi, Mal. How are you today? Very well. Let's Good. talk foundations. Yeah. Where do you start to find the perfect foundation? I think the, the biggest problem is that women think they've found the perfect foundation and they wear it for 20 years. <laughs> you really do need, I mean, I liken foundation to your foundation garments that you wear, your lingerie, you know, those things that you have to up, your specs, <laughs> your, specs for your face. Right. You have to update it every season. I mean, there's no point wearing the same foundation because your skin changes so much. But what happens so, if you find something that you really love? Well, yeah, that's okay, but you just need to make sure that you're actually wearing it the right way and we can talk about some application tips. So really colour. Um, I think an SPF is essential today yeah. because it's the barrier to your environment. Um, and look for a product that's got some antioxidants and some skincare benefits. So it's not just like the old days where you'd paint it on your face and you leave it. There's some really things that are really working yeah. in there, isn't there? Yeah, there are. And because it's you, between you and your skin, basically you can absorb all that goodness from your foundation. A lot of women don't wear it because they say it's not good for you, but nowadays foundations contain antioxidants, SPFs, hydrating um, benefits. It's, it's a brilliant thing to put between you and the in the sun and the barrier to the environment. Sounds perfect. Um, what about the colour match? Because that can go terribly yeah. wrong on some people, can't it? We've can. all seen those lines around the yeah. chin. Well, firstly, we'll I always use two foundations and I blend them together to customise a good shade to match my skin because your skin is not the same colour all over. You know, it tends to be slightly uneven around the jawline. After summer, it can be a little bit different colour to your neck or your neck can be a different colour to your face because you might have put sunscreen on your neck. Mm. So what I tend to do is do a pump of a slightly darker colour and one that's almost the same colour as my skin and then just apply foundation where you need it, not as a mask all over your face. So I often step back from the mirror and see what needs covering and just put foundation there. That sounds high maintenance though, for, for us who like really, really simple things, mixing two together, is that something we can it's all do? It's not really because everyone's got a drawer of foundations that weren't quite right. <laughs> That's true. So it's a great way to use up the ones that you bought that you thought, oh, this is a brilliant colour, but it actually doesn't suit me now because it's summer. And only on so, the, the parts of your face where you need it, Yeah, I start, or you should really start in the middle and work out. So if you put a little dot on the forehead nose and chin and blend outward or fan outward then you tend to use less makeup rather than starting on the cheeks like you would rub in a face cream. And that would also eliminate that sort of line that you get around the jaw That's around right. the hairline too. That's right. What about age? Should that factor into your choice it when does, you're choosing ones? It does factor into the choice because once you start getting fine lines often if you're wearing a heavier makeup or heavier consistency it tends to pull in those fine lines and it actually can be more aging. So I have this great little tip where I'll put a foundation on and then I actually get a face oil and massage it into my hands and just press it on over the top and it actually just blends the foundation a little bit and gives you a bit more luminosity which you need as you get a bit older. That's interesting because yeah. many people would go that they've got more lines and wrinkles, they need to have a heavier foundation to fill them. Yeah, it's the opposite. Absolute yeah, opposite. Less okay. is more. What about applica so you mentioned the application tips with the oil? That works for all skin types? Um, probably not an oily skin. Um, there you could just use a little bit of dusting of light translucent powder. But for most women, um, most women are pretty dehydrated at this time of the year, so mm. it's quite nice, especially just on the cheek area. A little bit of extra moisturiser or a face oil on top of a foundation that could be too heavy. Mm. It actually just knocks it back a little bit. And there's loads of different formulations, isn't there? And you've brought a few in here for there us to have a little so look many. at. And, and price brackets as well, obviously. That's right. And forgive me if I've forgotten anyone. I mean, I think the easiest um, texture to apply is a liquid. You, you can spread it a lot easier. A lot of caked foundations and powder foundations can look a lot heavier mm -hmm. if you're not that great at putting on makeup. So um, there's quite a few here. I, at the top of the line would probably be Privage from Elizabeth Arden. That contains a really powerful antioxidant called IDB Known. And what it does is it actually puts a shield between you and the environment. So it corrects your skin while you're using it. It's great for anyone with brown spots, pigmentation, um, dehydration, dryness. It's it's so that's skincare with a tint. That's what we want. Makeup with exactly. benefits. Sounds perfect. Um, and then there's a, a new one um, from L'Oreal called Inf Inflam Inflammable. No, it's not Inflammable. <laughs> Inflammable. <laughs> and um, that is actually a really great makeup for someone who does have a very uneven skin tone. It's not heavy. It's got a very silicone okay. light texture. Great. And just quickly, these last two here. And then Revlon. I bought that one in because it's brilliant. It's got a built-in concealer, the Colour Stay 2-in-1. Right. So if you don't know about matching your concealer and your foundation. Fail and then safe. this is just launching another one that I bought in for you to try Ooh, now. nice. And it's all about giving skin um, luminosity. So it's Synchro Skin Glow by Shiseido. It launches in March. Right. And it's 
just heavenly. It's like a luminizer in a bottle. Oh, sounds perfect. It's got the SPF 20 in it too, yeah. and that one's launching in March. March. Okay, yeah. well, lots of things to think about there. Thank Thanks. you so much, Trudy. Thanks, Always Mal. great. Thank now, you. for more of Trudy's tips, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.